what I'm going to be doing is um, a simple test with these. Now, I want to give a shout out to everybody that has commented, but especially John, because you have encouraged me a little bit to, um, or given some pointers and different recommendations. And so this is how I plan to do the de um, these detergent videos going forward. Um, these are some um, swatches that I made. I just took a um, white t-shirt. It's just a Fruit of the Loom t-shirt from Walmart. And I cut it up, and so I made, I separated these swatches. I created this just using, you know, this is just Sharpie. And I tried to, I used a ruler to, it's just a, and just to measure out so that there's about an even amount of distance between each, you know, swatch. And I used um, a measuring spoon to measure the same amount of stain in each one so that it's about the same. If one side looks bigger than the other, that just means I didn't spread it out all the way, except for right here. I kind of made a mistake and poured a little bit too much, but we're not gonna worry about that. Anyway, these two, the dots up here, which is numbered, there's two of them. This one has one. That just stands for which I like. I made this one first. I made this one second. That that's the only relevance of that. You'll see some other ones that may have like three or four dollars. That just means how many of these actual patch tests that I've actually made. Regardless of that. So now another thing I'm going to test is this. Um, when I said related to John, John comments about using warm water instead of cold water, and I'll put a, the I put the article in the last video that I um, did on Monday, but I'm gonna actually put the article again in this video, um, just talking about the um, pros and cons or whatever of washing in cold or hot water. But what we're gonna do is test both. So I have my pile of laundry right here. And what I'm gonna do is take one of these um, swatches and throw it in here. We're only gonna use one detergent pod. And the goal is to see, can this, you know, remove the stains? Now, we all know that it's not going to, but this is just a nice test to see how many of them it removes and um, just how much of the ones that it can't remove, it does remove. So right here we have mustard. This is sriracha. This is chocolate sauce. This is um, soy sauce. This is, you can see it's oil. This was just um, canola oil. And this was grape juice. And so this stain is gonna be our protein stain because I looked at the ingredients in the soy sauce and the first ingredient is water and the second ingredient is um, soy protein. So this is gonna be our protein um, stain um we have our oil stain and then whatever but so what we're going to do first is a warm water wash with number one dot that's what's going to help me keep things um remember the dot number one dot is going to be a warm water wash then we're going to do it again in a cold water wash with these and i'm going to put a skip part i'm going to time stamp these like i try to do most of my videos so you can just skip my rambling but i'm just trying to help y'all understand exactly what the test is going to be so we're going to do precise fill let it pick the water levels this is going to be we said warm first right? yeah number one is warm so warm is going to be first a normal water cycle a second rinse and we're not going to let it soak any extra time now the thing about this is i'm going to post this article it's from the hopefully i get it right i think it's the american institute the American Cleaning um, Institution or Institute, something like that. And they talk about, for the heavy stains like this, it talks about letting the um, garment soak for 30 minutes at least or in, in whatever pre-treating solution you have. Now with a pod, you can't pre-treat. But what I like to do with pods is I like to give it a, a auto soak. So just a pre-soak so it soaks. Now, this time I'm not gonna do that because um, some people don't, I'm going to talk about something. I'm just not going to do that this time. And I'm just going to let it go a normal wash cycle all the way through without adding additional soak time just to see what our results are. This first, again, this first test is going to be in warm water. And then the second test is going to be in cold water. So let me throw this all in and I'll get back to you in a second. Okay. And, and even though it doesn't matter like that, I like to throw, you know, you throw the detergent in first. Then I'm going to throw the clothes in here. Come on. Afterwards. I'm trying to even this out with my hand. Okay. That's good. And then I'm going to take the splotch of stain and we're going to put it in right there. It doesn't really matter how I do it, everybody. We're going to see how this turns out. Okay. All right. As you can see, you know, this isn't as sudsy, which is a good thing. And I like that, I like this washer, which I'm gonna put the model of this washer. Um, the only con that this washer has had it when you read a lot of reviews is it's noisy. Um, but as for its ability to clean without like messing up garments, it does a very good job of that, which is why I like the actual 
agitator in my washer personally but that that's besides the point just want to get give y'all a little view of how it looks mid-wash okay okay so now we are looking at this is the one that just got washed it hasn't completely dried but you can still see that this is the like the um, stain from this is obviously lightened but it's still there this oil stain looking at it it looks like it's gone but we're gonna have to wait for it to dry completely to really tell if it truly disappeared. But as you can compare it to right here, it's obviously not the same. This, it got a lot of it out. You can look at it and still see a little bit of it as it crosses over, but it's, it's very much more light. Completely got the chocolate stain out. Like the sriracha stain, like the mustard stain. So the bottom was washed in warm water. We're gonna wash the top. In cold water, same exact same as precise seal, cold seal, precise seal, cold water, normal, second rinse cycle, no extra soap. We're gonna use one laundry pod and okay. Okay, so I just wanted to say now we are done with the cold wash. As we know, the one with two dots at the top was a cold wash, and the one with one dot at the bottom was a warm wash. And these are the results. I'm gonna back out a little bit. It's very simple. What is that saying? Okay. So, when it comes to the mustard saying, they're almost about the same. There is a little bit, as you can see in the camera, I'll start it. It's a little bit darker. When it comes to the sriracha sauce, when you look through the camera, it almost makes it seem like it did a little bit of a better job because you see the outsides are less um, prominent than on here. Um, but in person, it's really, it's almost ne negligible. They're about the same. They both got rid of the chocolate sauce. The, um, the only change was the temperature. When you look at these through the camera, you could see it for yourself to see what the hue of the um, soy sauce is. And it's almost just about the same. It's a little bit darker on the cold wash. And by darker, I mean it's a little bit more prominent. You could see it. The stain is a little bit darker compared to uh, number four, which is um, four on both of them is the soy sauce. When you go to the oil stain, once again, I'm gonna have to wait for this to completely dry for me to tell the difference, but I don't really see anything um, from right now. But the most prominent one would have to be the grape juice, which you can see right here that is very much more prominent in the cold wash versus in the warm wash. So I'm very happy I did this test um, to test this all for and clear detergent. Um, this is one that is, I wanna say the most used amongst my family, so. Um, but we don't, you know, normally have stains that are just like, you know, that deep. So it's never been a problem for us, but it's a free and clear one. Um, this wasn't necessarily meant to like test the free, the free and clear all, but you know, I'll put that in the video as well. I really wanted to just test a detergent when it comes to the temperature. And I think I'm going to do this going forward with the rest of the um, detergents that I have to test, especially the pods, because seasons two, we are highlighting all things pods. And so, um, but yeah, that's what we're going to do. So anyway. This is our result. So this is why, in my opinion, in conclusion, this is why they say during a cold water wash and a warm water wash, there's not that big of a difference, really. Um, it was a little bit. I mean, it's a little bit. It depends on you. It depends on the, I'm gonna leave an article below that like it talks and goes more into detail about the um, how much you're spending in energy um, when you're using warm over cold. So this was just a little thing, like I said for John, just a little experiment. See, so yes, if you want to be technical, yes, the warm water wash does have slightly be, um, better results, but it's not that significant. Anyway, thank y'all for watching. I'll catch y'all on the next review.